Hi, I'm Nick Domasil, and I started life doing chartered accountancy. Uh, unfortunately, or fortunately for me, accountancy wasn't my bag. And after five and a half years, I joined a computer company being a client advisor. And I went over to the sales office at four o'clock to tell one of the salespeople that there was a problem with their customer. I needed to find there was nobody there. Sort of 15 minutes later, they'd all come back down at the pub celebrating a great second quarter. And I thought, well, maybe this looks like a good career for me. So I eventually joined an IBM software house where I um, sold, uh, did all my own demos. I then ran a team. But the big job that I got was being the sales director for JD Edwards, which is a big American ERP company that when I joined turned over $40 million and ended up turning over $1 billion and floating uh, for around about $3.7 billion. It was a fantastic experience because I saw so much growth and managed a lot of complex sales. But the big achievement that I made was um, running a team of 12 salespeople where every one of them made their numbers and they all made club. This is quite an unusual situation and I was interviewed by Salesforce magazine uh, to find out why that was. And the way we ran the sales team was um, that I would allocate leads to people that I thought would get on well with prospects. Uh, my big skill in um, selling has been people skills, is recognising when people are not telling you the truth, uh, understanding where we are in the deal. And we ended up with hit rates of over 80% of what we bid, which was very unusual in the computer industry. I think I'd make a good mentor because um, coming back to the people skills, uh, which is now known as emotional intelligence, I feel that I, I, I am very uh, sympathetic and empathetic for individuals. I can read how they're thinking and see from their body language what they're actually saying. Uh, this is due possibly because uh, I was very fortunate. I was brought up in a pub. And uh, when I was a kid, we had two types of bars. We had the, ch the uh, uh, saloon bar and the public bar. And in the saloon bar, we'd have uh, the chairman of Rothmans who would talk to me about my accountancy. And in the public bar, we'd have the village idiot telling me all his jokes that he made up. So I was constantly turning, changing my personality to suit individuals. And um, on a Friday night, we'd have lawyers, accountants, salespeople, all sorts of people in. So from a very early age, I was very fortunate to meet an awful lot of people. So uh, people skills and reading people was uh, possibly my, my um, strength in, um, in my sales career. Yeah, I've had a number of mentors. Um, in my early selling career, I met two people who were really, really good and they taught, taught me the basics. One person in particular I think is totally unusual. He, would always see two or three angles in a deal, which I would only ever see one, and he'd point those out to me. Sometimes he made selling quite complicated, and there were more angles than actually were there. But it basically taught me never to take things on trust and always look for other angles. And uh, when I uh, moved on to other jobs, there was um, a guy that would mentor me more on sort of a general business. Uh, he was a very, and still is, a very wealthy guy, and uh, would give me some guidance on uh, on, on that sort of area. I think the biggest tip I would give to an up-and-coming salesperson is read as many books as you can, read as many business books as you can. You can never stop learning. It amazes me that uh, when you finish school or university you go to a job and, and that's it. And, and it shouldn't be. It's a continuous learning path and there are a number of very good sales books. I would certainly recommend my book Ace to Sale for anyone that's selling in a business-to-business -business environment. I think to sum up, I would be able to give people some really good advice on how you can understand your own personality and how you're made up, and how to recognise other people and how they're made up, and therefore avoid clashes between two individuals. You sometimes hear the situation of he can only sell to 50% of the people. Well, if he could sell to 100% or she could sell to 100% of the people that they were selling to, then they would make more sales. So my skill set would be able to really increase your people skills and motivation of uh, other people and also uh, communicating to your prospects.